All right, so this has been around for a while in other applications, but it's the first time that it's built right into YouTube. So I have a video here that's 20 minutes long, and I only want to show a small portion of it. And after watching the video, I've determined that the portion I want to show is six minutes to seven minutes. So one minute of total footage starting at the six minute mark. So what you can now do right in YouTube is just come down here and if the clip option is available and it won't be for every video, but it is for almost every one I've seen so far, you're simply gonna click the clip icon. It's gonna start playing the video, but more importantly, you can just come in here and you can type in the seven colon zero zero dot zero and you can see we've got the six colon zero zero. So from six minutes to seven minutes, you can get as precise as you want. You do have to give it a description so I just usually do like the time marker, six, seven, and then I click share clip. When I do that, I get a URL that I can copy and now I can paste that URL into Google Slides, into Classroom, wherever I want, and it'll take the viewer directly to that point in the video rather than having them to have to scrub backwards or forwards themselves. It takes them right to the six minute mark. All right, how come I can't send emails that look like those ones professional spammers send me where everything's laid out really nice and the pictures look so professional? And the answer is you can now. So when you're in Gmail and you click Compose, there's now a feature called Layouts. It's down here in the composition menu. When you click on it, it's gonna bring up select layouts, okay? You can preview each one by clicking on it and looking on the left-hand side. So you can see this one has a little of the background color. This one has no background, okay? This one's just simple text, professional email. There's ones as you scroll down here that have pictures in them with little descriptions and sign up buttons, okay? So there's a whole bunch of different layouts you can now use. The one catch is and that you can't change the layout once you've decided to use it. You can only replace the content. Um, you can remove elements, but you can't change elements. You do have a default, default styling here where you can choose your color packet, include a logo, pick your primary font, um, what details you want down in the footer, which could include an unsubscribe link, for instance, if you were doing a form um, that was going out regularly to people. Um, in that case, um, you would need an unsubscribe tool. Okay, and then how links would be formatted and if or not you want social media links, you want your um, Instagram account, you want whatever in your promotional, in your branding. Okay, so you can lay out all those in the default styling. So once you've picked one though, you're gonna click insert, it is gonna drop it in your email and then literally you can click and change the elements in there. Um, so notice you can remove that element. Um, this one you can't remove or you can remove the whole section. Um, that's about all you can do to this other than typing in a new uh, header, okay? Again, change the picture, change the text, but you cannot change where the button goes. You can change that. You cannot, however, really change the layout. So you are stuck with those professional layouts. So if you want to look, make your emails look a little bit more newslettery and a little bit more professionals, check out the layout feature that is down here in the bottom of Google. All right, last tip for this week. Um, hopefully this feature is available. I'm gonna try it right now. If not, we'll scrap this video. But in Google, when you insert a table, you can, obviously you can make it as many cells wide and long as you want. Um, how, and a lot of people use these to lay out information on the page where they want it to be. You can now, hopefully, right click and say split cell. So instead of adding a row or a column to a table, you can actually just split that one cell into additional columns or into additional rows. So we're gonna do two more rows just so you can see what it looks like. And so now what we've got is three different places to align text here while we have big boxes over here. And of course, when we're over here, if we come up here to our centering tools up along the top, we can say, make this in the center of the cell. You can also click on the little arrow and change the boxes around them. Um, one of the things that a lot of people do, like I said, is use tables for alignment. So if you highlight the whole table and you come in here and go to table properties, you can then set the um, thickness of the line going around it and make the whole table actually 
disappear. So see where it says color table border one point. If we make that zero points, the table actually disappears and the content will just align to where you want it. So use tables in docs to align your content, but you can now split any individual cell or group of cells in the table into additional rows or columns.